Hello and welcome to this week's Fairy Friday general reading. Hello from Avalon in Glastonbury, UK. It's Andre, the Dream Shaman, the Master Healer of the Acturian Sound Healing Academy, and today we are going to have some fairy magic tuning into the elemental realms of the fairies. So outside here on the window you can see the raindrops. So we've got some purifying rain outside and you can see lots of crystals here. I've picked three cards. So those three organite crystal pyramids will be the support for those three messages. And if you choose the golden pyramid of the sun, that's this card. And the middle pyramid is a rainbow pyramid for our beloved rainbow children. <laughs> And on the right, it's a little bit in the sun here. <coughs> so on the right, we have a silver pyramid, the moon pyramid, three messages. So before you choose a message, tune into yourself take a deep breath in and exhale and I will turn on some music that I've recorded two years ago it the track is called called forever in love from the album magic numbers so this track is connected to the number four, the vibration of the number four, and it is also connected to the heart chakra, the fourth chakra, representing love, compassion, forgiveness, relationships, the power of your heart. So it will gently guide us and help us, support us to tune into our hearts. And it also has some Reiki healing and 432 hertz tuning energies in it. So please enjoy the music. Take a moment to tune into your heart, focus on your breath, relax for a little while. And then ask yourself your inner guidance that is within your heart. You can also invite your spirit guides. Just put out an intention for yourself to receive messages for your highest good. Ask yourself which of these three messages is serving your highest good now. It could be one or it could be two, it could be all three messages. It's all up to your intuition. Okay, now I'm starting with the first message, which also has a rose quartz. And the golden pyramid. So the first message is the lovers. 
Number six, representing love, peace, harmony. It's like a hippie number. The lovers. Six is also connected to the vibration of the flower of life or these rose quartz geometrical shape the six so we have double three and it is where the physical meets the spiritual so six is also a number of manifestation and here it rep represents the lovers true love that is long-lasting choices made from the heart return to good health so in this message there's a lot of love heart energy this pink rose quartz and the golden the golden color of the golden pyramid is also the new vibrational color of true unconditional healing love golden energy flowing through your body is is what is assisting your ascension to a perception of this new reality of true law and so when we ascend to true love that we find in ourselves we also attract the true lover reflecting back on the outside So the new relationships that are developing from your higher consciousness, the relationships will be of a higher consciousness and the relationships you are already in with, with your friends, family, your lover, they will also develop a higher consciousness. as we all are ascending together on this planet. So, here I feel that there is an opportunity or several opportunities for coming together for true lovers. I really, when I close my eyes, I also see those two coming together and joining hands so it is possible that true lovers, soulmates, twin flames beneficial loving relationships will get together in this week or at least make up co a connection, it could also be on the internet somehow we are connecting or telepathic connections with your soulmate twin soul co connections but I feel that there are, will be a lot of physical connections too soulmate relationships coming up, coming together, experiencing true love. Oh, congratulations to ourselves. I'm really grateful for this message here. Message number two with the lapis lazuli blue stone and the rainbow pyramid here we have ace of winter don't be deterred by challenges along the way it's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented so I immediately when I read this I immediately 
this this catches my eye here the snow tiger so let's have a little closer look so we have here the snow tiger Yeah, winter is coming. <laughs> so prepare yourselves for the colder times, the colder season, as we are entering the season of autumn. It's a time of harvest. Yeah, and preparing for the colder times. Gathering your energy, gathering your warmth. And there's this snowflake here. Which is also has this geometry I've just showed in the first message. Six corners. The ace is the number one, representing new beginnings, so winter will begin soon. And ace is, is the one is a number of action. I rather feel like it is time to go within. So Ace and the Tiger meaning moving forward, but this time meaning forward from the inside out. So finding your truth within and then safely moving forward, also showing up on the outside. What else do we have here? So inside of you, you will find that heat, like warm clothes, that will protect you. You will find that heat, that warmth from your inner heart, from your inner knowledge, knowing who you really are, knowing your true gifts and talents, knowing what you've been through, and this will warm you up from the inside out. That's what I mean here. Warming up from the inside out, and then you don't even bother how cold it is because you have your your skin, your clothes, your fur, the fur of the I want to say moon tiger, <laughs> the fur of the snow tiger. You're prepared for the snow because of the challenges you've been through. It has made you stronger. So just take a moment to reflect and remember all the challenges you've been through. That has prepared you to move on and to rock this colder season that is coming and you will manage it. Message number three with an ametrine. This is a mi mixture of amethyst and citrine. And the silver pyramid of the moon. Here we have eight of autumn. Eight of autumn. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships excellent craftsmanship 
or, and long-term projects. So the eight representing abundance, prosperity, can also mean justice, eternity when you have the eight um, on the side, the infinity symbol, connection, eternity then. Here I feel it re represents abundance in the autumn, also the time of harvest, harvest, where you really feel and see the abundance of the fruits of your labor that you have, the seeds that you have planted all over the year, they know now are showing up in their fully blooming fruits. And abundance also is inner abundance. It can be financial abundance, that's obvious, of course. But here it means wisdom, knowledge. The abundance of your inner knowledge. The gifts and talents that are inside of you. The knowledge and the wisdom that is inside of you. It is an ab abundance. There is a prosperity in you. And if you are curio curio oh, sorry, curious... It's a good time to go back to school, learn something you're curious about, to nourish this inner prosperity of wisdom. Going to school, to a seminar, to reading a book maybe, or watching a movie, something you're curious about. It will fill up your inner prosperity, getting rich of knowing what is good for you. And for those of you who are ready to teach, if you feel that you are ready to teach because you feel that great abundance of inner knowing, it's time to teach. To be the wise man or woman, teaching, sharing your inner abundance with others. It will benefit you and everyone involved. So if you resonate more with the curious child, it's time to learn. If you resonate more with the wise adult, it's time to teach. So I'd like to reveal all three messages now. Sorry. To just look at them. Reflect for another moment. I would like to thank you for watching and tuning in. Thank you very much, with love, peace and gratitude, see you next time.